Hello everyone and welcome back to So Sick Airways. This is your boy Captain Rob and it's the only way to fly. Alright, we're in the Kit Fox. <clears throat> oh yeah, the Kit Fox 2. And we're in Denmark. And we're going to do some nice little flying around the top coast of Denmark along the northern coast, east and west. Going to go check out and buzz some really awesome lighthouses. Because, <laughs> you know, why not? So without further ado, let's get into it. those of you new to the channel, um, you may recognize this aircraft from Trent Palmer's awesome videos. This is the Kit Fox 2. It's, oh, it's by far my favorite aircraft in the sim. It's gorgeous in every single way. And this livery that we've got going on here, the red, oh yeah. I just happen to love red. And this is by far my favorite. My drone's gone a bit crazy at the moment. It's like spinning all over the place, but yeah, I do apologize. But let's, so yeah, let's, let's stop messing about. And let's get into the cockpit, shall we? He says, trying to find the thing. Cap it. There we go. Okay, sweet. So we're in the cockpit. Um, the Kit Fox 2, this what this particular version is called the Eurofox IS. <coughs> it's actually the Euro, Eurofox IS 5. I um, just realised we need to get some fuel on board because we don't actually have any fuel. That's weather. There's fuel. Uh, let's give ourselves a full tank just to be on the safe side. Just close that there. Uh, the good thing about this is when you do the checklist, um, if you click on the checklist here, look, you get this little um, engine startup. Okay, yep, cool. It's all there. Before takeoff, the more takeoff. Cool. So it is all there, which is great. Um, let's go with so parking brakes on, fuel shut off valves on, masters on, start is on, da -da 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 -da, crank to ten percent, push start button on, start off, da -da 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 sweet. All pretty straightforward. So let's get cracking, shall we? So let's get our lanes on. They are here and here. That's both. Both lanes on. Master avionics. Fuel pump A and B. Is the fuel switched on? Yes, it is. Parking brake is also on, which is great. Uh, let's get our nav lights on. So nav. And we also want strobe. And we want cabin light on as well, just in case you can't see shit. Uh, wing wag. Landing lights. Uh, we don't need to worry about our our, our, uh, our debris. Um, let's get the fire started, shall we? Okay, sweet. There we go. Rocking and rolling. Just, okay, there we go. Let's just get the starter back on a minute. Okay, set to both. There we are. Cool. Um, so last time in the last video, we had a few problems with the avionics. It kept blanking out. And hmm, I think I've discovered the source of the problem. I think it's got something to do with the magnetos. But um, I'm not 100% sure. So they're both on at the moment. If I do that, I do that, and that, they all kind of want to go on at the same time. If I do both here, can I turn them off? No, because the magnetos are selected with my switch. The problem is if I go off completely, then the whole thing turns off. So, we'll keep both on for the moment. If we get any problems with magnetos, we should be able to get out of that issue by pressing the debris. Right, now, let's have a look at our flight plan. So, we're in Denmark. To zoom out. So this is the northern part of Denmark here. It's a very lovely part of the world. And if you zoom in, you'll see that I've got a couple of light lighthouses selected. So the lighthouses in Denmark are something else. They're pretty cool. Got more all dotted along the coast here. Uh, so go check out a couple of them. Oh, there's a plane down there. What is up to? Uh, first one's just over here. Look, we'll go see him. Have a look. We'll be flying nice and low and slow. Uh, do a whole like you know, around the cliff edges and stuff, and then back to land. The thing with Denmark and bush flying is it's a bit difficult because a lot of Denmark is highly agricultured. In fact, actually, most of Denmark is full of agriculture. So if you ever fly over Denmark, and certainly if you've ever been to 
um, say uh, Holland or you've been to Amsterdam or something you, you happen to have seen Denmark from the sky you'll notice that yeah it is pretty much a patchwork of, um, of land but I think that we've picked a good route here where we're going to find some really interesting parts of Denmark that that you guys are all going to love northern Denmark beautiful part of the world let's check it out so we'll just center it on our back on our plane we'll just zoom in there we go and we'll come back to our main um, viewpoint here which is we'll angle ourselves a bit more like that there we go okay so got a full tank of fuel yep um, everything's looking good cool let's just have a look outside quickly our flaps are that's all the way down halfway down it's all the way up just see a bit one degree of flaps I think for this okay cool so let's throttle up let's get the foot off the brake pedal okay a bit of careful steering here oh. A bit of a wind there, it's taking us from one edge to the other. There we go, we're up, we're alive. Let's just take our flaps up. Obviously there's no, an no landing gear to retract because it's constantly retracted. Okay, so let's start following our flight plan. So let's go turn, turn around to the, to the east here. Like I said, we're trying to try and keep the bird nice and low and slow. So we'll take our, take our acceleration off slightly. Uh, we'll see if we can see some of those picturesque Denmark style houses that are so famous for Denmark. There must be quite a few, I'm sure. Oh, the sound cut out there for some reason, don't know why. Um, seems to be shaking around quite a bit. Let me take my feet off the rudder pedals. Does that make any difference? No. There's a bit of wind. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Let's take this, let's take this down a bit, just again. Yeah, it seems to be a bit of a windy day in Denmark, but as you can see, it's, it's pretty featureless. A flat as a pancake. I know you guys saw what I was going to say, but I didn't want to say it. A witch's mouse man. So, okay, now we know, what, now we know why there are so many uh, wind farms in Denmark. Clearly, it's a windy place. Because it's so flat. Looks a lot like um, Norfolk, doesn't it? Well, I suppose that makes sense, really, because when you think about how flat Norfolk is, they're obviously both very similar lands, land, like sort of like land masses or land features or ge similar geography. There you go. Similar geography. Okay, so let's just go down here a sec and see what's going on. Um, we want to try and make it slightly interesting and obviously over there that's the the lighthouse so if I press the interesting button hopefully that should look at that no it's looking back it's looking back at himself smart cam um, okay so we'll just fly up over this ridge here that just give ourselves a bit of power If you're yet to buy the Kit Fox 2, I highly suggest you do it. There's also the um, the uh, the Kit Fox Series 7 Speedster, which is available, which is a slightly faster model. Um, not quite as good in terms of the uh, mechanics, I'd say. Mechanics or the um, the flight modeling of the aircraft. It's a big sand dune there. Look. Woo! There's a lighthouse there. Look. Let's have a look at it. What does it look like? What's going on with it? Okay, big stone lighthouse, cool. Yeah, the, 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 the flight modeling of it is pretty basic. I think it's probably used one of the um, one of the other sort of bush planes in the sim to kind of model itself on. It's, it's okay, and it's cheap. It's, it's like six quid, something like that, in the sim. So, it's, you know, if you've got like, you ain't got much money to spend and you want one of these planes, I'd recommend getting it. But um, and you also get smoke as well on the back, which is cool. But I would say, I would say for your money, you want to go a little bit more you'd get either get this one or the freedom fox parallel 42 if you can afford that one that's i think that's like a couple i think it's like 25 quid or something you get the freedom fox you get this you get um all of his uh all of his runways and stuff i've not personally purchased that yet um 
I just wanted to get the Kit Fox 2 for the time being, uh, just because I don't like the Freedom Fox. I don't, I'm not really a fan of the American flag per se on things. Obviously, you know, I like the American flag. The American flag looks cool, but having it on stuff, it just looks a bit cheesy. So, uh, yeah, I've avoided that. Some guy's lone house just right there in the middle of the beach. Mental. Fun, though. Okay, so Denmark so far, you're looking pretty good. You're looking quite nice, Denmark. There's a lot of houses everywhere. It'd be nice to live around here, wouldn't it? That is gorgeous. Look at this. Look at the separation between them all as well. There's like loads of separation. They are beautiful homes, aren't they? Some of them are just absolutely stunning. If you've ever been to Denmark, if you've seen their houses, yeah, I think you can't really beat Scandinavian countries. For some reason, they just got it right when it comes to their, ho their homes. Yeah, maybe that's because that's why IKEA comes from, and you know, they're spoiled, <laughs> perhaps. Oh, there's a plane coming towards us here. Who's that? Uh, can we see them? They're right ahead of us, or above us. Don't have the things turned on, so you can't actually see them. But they're going to go right past us. Any minute. They're probably thinking, "Who the hell's that?" But uh, little do they realise, a little bush plane is flying down. Okay, because we're a bush plane, we need to do some bush landings. So let's do some touch and go. Let's go do a bit of a touch and go on here, shall we? Just on this beautiful sandy beach. Here we go. Coming down. Okay, we're gonna go to the sea. Ah! Stick off, stick off. <laughs> Whoops. Well, that didn't quite go as well, <laughs> as well as I planned it to. I thought it was going to be like a nice little landing, but uh, it turns out, nope, we ended up in the drink. Good job it was shallow. Okay, so we'll try that again. We obviously had a bit too much speed, I think. Um, okay, so let's, let's power back our speed now. Let's do that. While we're up in the air like this. Okay, we'll just, we'll just turn ourselves around this way. Plane over there somewhere. I can't see it. Okay, we'll do this. Okay, now we're coming down. We're coming down pretty slow here. This 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 is pretty slow. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. There we go. We've got a store warning. Nice. We like the store warning because the store warning makes us know that we're coming down at a good enough speed. Cool. Oh shit. Oh bloody hell. So I've ended up upside down in the sea. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. Look at this. Right, well, there's one way to fix that. And you just go... Bump. Ta-da! Back in the air. And we're facing the wrong way. So we need to turn ourselves around. Da -dum, da -dum. It's a bit annoying that that happened. I was hoping to have a nice little land on that beach. Oh well, never mind. Is that golf course down there? Could be. Should be. Okay, let's try this again because I really want to land like nicely on the beach. It could be that I'm not putting enough brakes on, that could be the reason. Maybe I don't have enough flaps, let's go full flaps this time. Full flaps, here we go, full flaps. Right, coming down for a nice landing this time. Here we go, pull back a bit. Okay, we're kind of going in the drink. We don't want to go in there. No, we don't want to go in there. Ugh. Ugh, for fuck's sake. So we have ended up back inside the sea. 
Right, let's just uh, get ourselves out of this. Oh, 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 he says, like a nonce. Oh, great, well, the fellow's buried in the sand. Brilliant. Uh, hmm. Okay, so we'll just do our little magic trick. Shall I give up trying to land, do a touch and go? I think I will. I'm gonna give up. We're pretty quick here, aren't we? Let's just slow that down. We'll carry on flying along the, the ridge of the, uh, the sand there, the beach, because it was nice. There's our lovely shadow there. It's a bit more power. Pause it, take a picture. So you, hopefully it will be a seamless transition for you guys, so you don't have to see me pause the sim. Here we go. Okay, we're back. Hopefully that was nice and seamless. One can only hope. Let's get a bit of speed going here. I'll just open my window, actually. Pretty cool, it's animated like that. Let's close it. There we go. Uh, is our flaps all the way up? Yeah, they are all the way up. Okay, good. Alright, so we've got another little lighthouse ahead of us here, look. Little white guy. Just sort of sat on the edge there. Let's go check him out, shall we? It's a nice lighthouse. Oh, very nice. It's been modelled really well in the sim, isn't it? Oh yeah, lovely. Let's go check out up here, show you what's going on. Bit of speed. Okay, so this is obviously like a little dock marina type place thing going on here. That's nice. That's lovely. But what I really want to show you guys is actually the town. So we're just going to turn around here. Just going to fly over the town. So I think I'd be pretty impressed. The modeling. There we go, look at this. You've got all those coloured houses down there. Classic, classic Denmark. Gorgeous church. Yeah, nice, eh? Looks good, wouldn't you say? I think it's pretty ace. Got a little factory over here with a big factory chimney. Doo -doo. Nothing coming out of it though. Oh, well. No chemicals polluting the air. Greta Thornburg down there kicking off at the picket line. Whatever you want to call it. Beautiful. Okay, so now it wants to fly just. Uh, straight west by those things so let's do that let's uh, let's turn on our autopilot nav mode see if this works for us should do uh, 
Altitude. I selected an altitude. Um, I don't think I have. Got well, 100, there we go. Uh, 200, 400. Let's just go to 700, 800 feet. There we go, 800 feet. Got vertical airspeed on. Altitude hold mode is now about to turn on. This should be good. Yeah. Well, while the autopilot just sort of flies us around, I'm just going to have a little look around the plane actually, just to make sure there's, you know, everything's in place that it should be. Nice, let me just uh, do that for a second. What I want to do is I really wanted to sort of like have a little look. So I really like the design of the wheels here. I think the wheels look really cool. The only thing I would like it to be different with the wheels is, is if the um, you see what it says air streak there. If they were coloured in like black or the wheels were like a different colour maybe that would look really cool. But you know just small little gripe, nothing major. This is the Cool. Our fuel's back down to half. Not entirely sure how that's happened. Didn't reset anything. Hmm. Sweet. What's that there? Is that a GoPro? Oh my god, it is a GoPro. I think. Is it? Oh no, no, no. That's the lights. It's not the GoPro, it's the lights. Hmm, cool. We've got in the back here, we've got some some bags. Yep, cool. Some bags. In the other kit box there is a um like a little button around here somewhere that you can press to do smoke. Got a bag here, let's get rid of that. Chuck the bag out. What's this? AP, is that all about, is it? I didn't realise. Let's press it again. There we go. Is it autopilot? Yeah, it is. Right. Turn it back on? No. Uh, boom. There we go. It's back on now. GPS. Altitude 800 feet. Yep. Cool. Cool, cool, okay, lovely. So, uh, what else is there to look at in this plane that's cool? Uh, the radio button you can't press, which is a bit annoying, don't mind. So, we'll see a parking brake, fuel pump brake, push to open the throttle, yeah, there's a the throttle there. Yeah, there's a car horn that Trent uh, Armour works inside his thing. E power, O power. What is that doing? Anything? That's good. Yeah, yeah. You could get a thing in the gear. Ooh, yeah. Let's go from this side. No. I got rid of it? Yeah. E power? What does E power do? Can I change that side? No? So landing lights. I'm not entirely sure what that does. It's a custom waypoint here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's go on the drone, shall we? Uh, 
so yeah, I think Denmark, uh, <laughs> maybe not the best of choices to do a, um, a bush flight, but I think it gives you an idea of the landscape. It's, uh, it is very, very desolate indeed, isn't it? There's a plane gone. Ah. Oh, there he is. It's up here. That's cool. I do quite like the sound of a, pl of a distant plane. It is going past us. It's a bloody windy day in Denmark, isn't it? Christ, crikey. Right, let's get back inside the plane. I have to do that this is into an external camera. Um, right. Let's just decrease our altitude a little bit. Go to 200 feet, shall we? Denmark is of course famous for its windmills and it obviously has a lot of windmills that are now electrical windmills. Oh, I'm too far back here, aren't I? Yes, I am. Uh, FN12... Okay, this is nice, but uh, not nice enough. I'm going to bring the bird down and land her, I think. That nice big field we just saw there looks probably ideal. Um, so let's do this. Right, let's just turn off autopilot. And let's just get ourselves around. Turn off some of our speed. Find that big ass field. There he is just over there. So. Gonna sort of like shimmy ourselves over uh, over there. There we are. Okay, this one looks pretty good. Let's go for this one here, shall we? That's our store warning. Cool. We want that to come on because we do want to, of course, bring the bird down. Don't want to go too far down in that angle. We want to come down at a good angle. Ooh, bit of a bounce. Ooh, over a hill there. Okay, let's bring it to a stop. Gently apply some brakes. Okay, cool. Switch everything off. Let's turn these off.
Hmm. Now, I knew Denmark would be flat, but I didn't think it would be that featureless in terms of, like, the bush flying. I've had fun, but if I was to give it a mark out of 10 in terms of the bush flight rating, I'd give it probably a 4. Not that great. Some nice lighthouses, but could be a heck of a lot better if only it had some gullies and valleys and rivers and all that kind of stuff. Maybe I was flying in the wrong part of the country. If that's the case, then please do let me know in the comments. If you're from Denmark and you know there's some, some excellent bush flying to be done in this country, then please do send me those details because I will totally go and do it. And I'll totally share that on the channel. Not a problem. And I'll happily eat my words. So, yeah, um, this is your boy Captain Rob signing off. And until the next one, take care and stay flying. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye.